This episode of Fine Scale Modeler's new product rundown features Ryfield Models fully appointed Abrams with interior, Kitty Hawk's long-awaited Banshee, Academy's USS Missouri, Hasegawa's F2, and finally we get stuck into Mobius's Michael Myers. New product rundown, proudly brought to you by Hobbyco, distributors of fine model kits from Italy. Welcome to the 98th episode of New Product Rundown, where Fine Scale Modeler takes you through the latest kits and modeling accessories. I'm Aaron Skinner. And I'm Elizabeth Nash. We have another packed show today, starting with Ryfield Models' latest Abrams. What sets this one apart is the provision of a full interior. The basic kit includes parts for both the M1, A1, and A2 versions, but not the Tusk packages as in the initial kit. The lower hull has sharply molded welt seams, hatches, and running gear attachment points. The upper hull features non-skid texture, engine vents, handles, weld seams, and fuel filler caps. Other external hull details include fender skirts, optional engine covers, and more. Under the skirts hide sharply molded suspension arms, road wheels, idlers, return rollers, and drive sprockets. The same sprue includes torsion bars that start the internal features. Up front there's a driver's compartment with seat, controls, pedals, and a fire extinguisher. Optional panels differentiate between the A1 and A2. Detailed color callouts refer to ammo of Mick Jimenez colors for the details. Along with the supports and a rack of batteries. There's a nice replica of the Honeywell AGT 1500 gas turbine power plant. Air intakes, plumbing, the exhaust and the transmission is all there. The turret's exterior has the same detail as the hull, including weld seams and non-skid texture. The turret racks are molded in sections and the kit includes solid tow cables. There's a ton of detail inside the turret, including racks of ammunition in the bustle and controls. As well as the auto loader, main gun breech, seats, basket, and coaxial machine gun. Main gun assembles from a series of tubes that should eliminate unpleasant sanding. The hatches are separate and can be posed open to display the detail. Ryfield throws in two sprues of stowage, including jerry cans, coolers, water jugs, and ammo cans. More stowage comes on the clear sprue in the form of water and other bottles. The clear parts also provide optics, vision blocks, and periscopes. Individual link tracks wrap up the suspension. They are made up of two-part blocks, track pins, and separate guides. A jig aids assembly. Photo etched brass provides mesh for the turret baskets, CIPs for the turret, and engine screens. Cartograph decals provide markings for two M1A1s and two M1A2s. One of the M1A1s is in NATO tricolor camo, and the others are desert sand. If you've ever wanted a detailed Abrams, here's your chance. Lots of parts and a ton of detail. Here's a kit that's been highly anticipated, Kitty Hawk's 148th scale F2 H2 Banshee. Designed by McDonnell, the twin-engine fighter entered U.S. Marine Corps and Navy service in 1948. It saw extensive service over Korea as a bomber escort, ground attack platform, and, re and a reconnaissance aircraft. And it's been a long time coming in 148th scale, where for the longest time the only option has been the 50-year-old Hawk kit. Marked by fine panel lines and rivets, the fuselage half extends from the tail to the cockpit. Separate nose parts provide for optional gun and recon versions. Interiors are provided for both. The gun bays include cannons, ammunition cans, a rack and bulkhead, and separate doors that can be posed open. The recon version has cameras, a floor, and control boxes. The well-appointed cockpit features a floor, multi-part ejection seat, walls, instrument panel, under a detailed combing, and turtle deck. In addition to the cockpit, the fuselage have sandwiched the detailed nose gear bay and tail hook recess. Buried in the wing roots are pretty complete engines with bodies, front and rear fans with other details, and one-piece exhausts. Two-part intakes finish the power plants. The wings with the distinctive tip tanks can be posed open or folded. There's hinge and wing fold detail inside for the latter option. The separate flaps can be posed stowed or deployed. There's detail inside the parts. Detail on the flight surfaces mirrors the quality of the fuselage moldings. Cleanly molded landing gear terminate with detailed wheels and weighted tires. Banshees excelled at ground attack in Korea. The kit includes rockets and bombs for the wing pylons. Photo Etch provides dive brakes and seat belts. The canopy can be posed open or closed. Clear parts are also provided for the camera ports in the recon nose and lights. Decals give markings for four Banshees, two fighters and two recons. One of each is in sea blue and the others are in gray and white. There's a lot to like about Kitty Hawk's F2H and it should be a scream to build. <laughs> Definitely worth the wait. Our next subject needs little introduction, Academy's 1 700th scale USS Missouri. During a 50 year career, the big Iowa class battleship served during the last year of the Pacific War, hosted the Japanese surrender, fought during the Korean War, and bombarded targets in Vietnam and Iraq. Today it's a museum at Pearl Harbor. This kit represents the ship in its late war fit. 
As with some recent Academy aircraft kit, the parts are molded in color so the ship may be assembled without paint. But that doesn't take anything away from the quality and finesse of the parts. Check out the slide molded funnels and attached masts. The hull is split along the waterline. The red areas below include a separate bow and sharply molded strakes. Rudders and prop shafts are also molded in red. The upper hull captures the lines of the Missouri well and includes hoss pipes at the bow. The deck sections molded in deck blue feature planks and other fittings including fine splinter shields for the gun positions and anchor chains at the bow. The same color provides the turret tops. The major superstructure sections are molded as large pieces with detail like the decks. Terrific turrets connect to guns with integral blast bags to replicate the battleship's main armament. Other details include the cranes, catapults, radars, and SOC seagulls. I was impressed by the 5-inch gun turrets and the petite barrels. They should look terrific on the superstructure. Equally remarkable are the 40mm and 20mm gun mounts. Molded in black, they look better than many 1-700 scale guns I've seen. The same sprue provides life rafts. Other black sprues provide the caps for the funnels and the stand. Painting instructions show the ship in two camouflage options, measure 22 and all gray. The markings come in both water slide decals and, in keeping with the easy build nature of the offering, stickers. Thanks to good engineering and great moldings, this should be an easy build that produces a nice looking model. A great choice for, for a first ship build. Next, let's take a look at Hasegawa's 148 scale F2B. You'd be forgiven for thinking that this Mitsubishi fighter looked like an F-16. It was designed from the Fighting Falcon with help from Lockheed Martin. But the F-2 is larger all the way around, especially the wings and horizontal stabilizers. More than 100 are currently in service with the Japanese Air Self-Defense Force. Hasegawa has gotten a lot of mileage from its F-2 since the first kit was released in 2003. Divided into upper and lower halves, the fuselage shows the fine recessed surface detail Hasegawa is known for. The tandem cockpit features molded detail on the instrument panels and side consoles. The main wheel well has plenty of structural elements and the multi-part intake extends deep into the fuselage to a fan. The flaperons and leading edge slats are poseable. And the fine surface detail on the vertical tail is reflected in the wings. A deep jet pipe is bracketed by nicely molded compressor face and detailed nozzle. Sharp landing gear and wheels ground the fighter. Hasegawa includes two pilots and multiple weapon pylons. Fuel tanks and Mitsubishi AAM-3 air-to-air missiles grace the pylons. The canopy can be posed open. There are also clear parts for lights and heads-up display. This limited edition boxing features markings for a trainer with 21 Squadron in special markings to celebrate the unit's return to Matsushima Air Base. The two-tone blue camouflage on these jets looks sharp. As should this model with any collection of modern fighters. Finally, Mobius scares up some fun with the 1 8 scale kit of Michael Myers from John Carpenter's 1978 film, Halloween. This seminal fright fest introduced the mask knife wielder to the world. It's been much emulated, but never topped. 17 years ago, Polar Lights produced this kit, which Mobius has released with added lighting for an extra creepy flavor. The scene has Michael walking down the steps of his boyhood home with mask, gray jumpsuit, and big stabby thing. His torso, arms, and legs come in halves with molded seams, zippers, folds, and added creases. The head looks pretty good. A little putty will take it even closer to the William Shatner mask worn by the actor for the shape. The hands are especially nice with nails and wrinkles on the knuckles. The knife is joined by some items left by trick-or-treaters including a clown mask and candy bag. In addition to grain on the wooden steps and porch, fallen leaves festoon the base. The nameplate is molded onto the large base. The final touch is a jack-o'-lantern on the steps. Mobius supplies flickering LED and attached battery pack to fire up the pumpkin. With good posing and some nice extras, this should be a fun build for fans of the film and the genre. Plus, you can use it to decorate for Halloween. Michael will creep into the workbench review section of an upcoming issue of Fine Scale Modeler magazine. Plus, look for reviews of the Abrams, Banshee, and Missouri. And you can see more new products in the December issue on sale now. Thanks for visiting Finescale.com. I'm Elizabeth Nash. And I know what you did last summer. Our next subject means little, 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 little. <laughs> oh, good. Hey, it's Thanksgiving, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Turkey mash. Is back. Our next subject needs a little introduction. Academy's one subject. <laughs> Why are you giggling? <laughs>